If you've been wondering how do these YouTubers create this effect of putting themselves on different displays such as phones, tablets, billboards, TVs, you name it, they're on it. I'm gonna show you how it's done in DaVinci Resolve. So I uploaded a video the other day, me in the front room chilling, and it was, I put me on the laptop and I didn't think anyone would care for it much, but I got a comment asking how did I achieve that. So I'm gonna show you how I've done that in, in this video. The effect is called corner pinning. I didn't know that till the other day, so yeah, that's what it's called. So we're gonna do grab some footage, drop it into DaVinci. I'm just gonna use this 50-50 split video that I did, I did that I'd done not too long ago. So I'm just gonna use the footage from my last video. I'm gonna use that same laptop. So you can see how, it's, how I corner pinned it. And then I'm just gonna drop that into the edit window. Can get rid of the audio. And then just use the scroll wheel to make it bigger and smaller. So we're gonna change both the video clips to new, a new fusion clip. Right click, new fusion clip. And then we're gonna to go to fusion. So we're gonna drop our two clips onto the fusion window and click onto media pool. So we can get rid of the median it says median one and then we're going to drop the main clip and we're going to output to media one click on the single viewer so you can see what's going on and then we're going to drop fusion clip two so we're going to rename these right click and then go to rename and i'm going to name that background which is bg and then we're going to rename this one foreground FG. And but we want to merge that. Click on the background, shift, spacebar, and then we want to type in merge. Click add. We've got the merge now so we can merge the two clips together. So the output of the, the foreground, we're going to drop that down onto the merge. And then that's going to allow us to start getting to the juicy parts. Again, we want to click on FG, shift, space, and then we're going to type in corner and it's gonna bring up corner position. And as you can see, we're ready to start pinning this to the laptop. So we just grab our corners. And then just put them into the right position, right place. You can zoom in and out by pressing command and scroll so you can see that you're in the right place and that's looking pretty good there i'm happy with that i'm gonna go back to the main timeline now just to see how things are it could be a lot better than that so click in the corner position again and just do your necessary tweaks just to make it look in place and then we're good. And if you wanted to change the, the color, you can just press, press, press. Click on FG, shift, space, type in color. Color curves, add color curves. We can just use the color curves just to make, make some changes. And so it just blends in with your background and looks a lot more natural. Go back to your timeline, press play. Not spending money to shoot a music video. You didn't spend money on studio time. And unless you have a big name, your name is not bigger than mine. So that's how you corner pin your video onto any display, any surface, any flat surface, and just add some extra sauce to your videos. Appreciate you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.